Hello again, this is Ahmed Hamdi and this is modding and simulation of discrete systems using Arena Rockwell course. In the last video, I talked about different modding parameters and how can we identify them before using Arena Rockwell. In this session, I'm gonna talk about data collection and preparation options before using them in Arena blocks. So let's start. Basically, from the statistics point of view, data is being categorized as quantitative and qualitative types of data. And from quality control point of view, Data is being categorized as variable and attributes. So please differentiate between identifying variable and attributes in quality control and in modeling and simulation language, as I explained in the previous video. In modeling and simulation, the language is different. We have two different types of data should be analyzed. We have input data, which will be our core in this video, and we have output data, which is considered as the results of simulation, and this will be covered at the end of the course. Input data for any discrete system could be categorized in different forms. It could be the inter-arrival time or the time between arrivals of the entities at any system. For example, let's say we have a clinic system, and the entities are entering this clinic system with random time behaviors. So the way to model this type of input data will be explained in the following slides. Again, let's say we have a factory, and there are different machines have different cycle times, so this is considered as an input data and should be clarified as well and the same for resource availabilities. For any discrete system, the entities should be generated to be simulated when we run the system. To generate the entities, we have four different options, either random exponential distribution, and this is considered as the most common random distribution type. And then we have a schedule type. That means how many entities are entering the system for a specific time span. And this will be covered and explained later in the following videos. And then, we have a constant time and this is rarely used in discrete systems and that means the entities are entering the system with a fixed constant rates and i don't think this is valid for 99 percent of discrete systems and finally expressions or the distributions and this is the core of this video before explaining the function of the expression options let's say the process cycle time or service time had the same functions or have the same options and the same for resource availability for expression it is the way of writing or modeling your data in arena blocks and this is considered as the most accurate way to set your input data in arena to be ready for modeling and simulation to generate the most accurate distribution type with its accurate parameter to be used for arena enter arrival time and process cycle time or service time Rockwell developed a small software like an add-ins with Arena called Input Analyzer. So let's have a deep look into this software. First of all, as I told you before, we have to know the perfect distribution fit of either the inter-arrival rates of the entities or the process cycle or service time. So this is why we are using Input Analyzer. So assume we have these numbers, like the ones here in this text file. And let's assume these numbers are representing the time between arrivals of the entities at any system or the process or cycle time of any machine or any process, okay? And we want to know the perfect distribution fit of these numbers. So let's have a deep look how to do it. So as I told you, we have an add-ins called Input Analyzer installed with Arena Rockwell. So once you install Arena Rockwell, you, you should have this application installed with it. This is called Input Analyzer. You can find it in the Start menu. Just like, uh, just type Input Analyzer, and you will have this gray interface with you. Okay. So at the beginning, we have to click on this new icon. Okay. Then, as I told you before, all data should be written in this text format, this uh, Notepad or this text format. To be analyzed to be perfectly analyzed with this input analyzer so these data are representing as i told you before either the time between arrivals that means that the first entity come at zero time and then after let's assume the times in minutes so after four minutes another entity come then after seven minutes uh, or the difference between the the second entity and the third entity is seven minutes and so on the rest Okay, so these are the time between arrivals, okay, or we can assume that those numbers are representing the service or the or the cycle time. That means that the first uh, machine has like, uh, we don't have zero cycle time for machines, so we have to delete this zero. So uh, let's assume we don't have this zero. So the first machine takes 
or this specific machine takes four minutes of operation or the cycle time of this machine is four minutes and then it takes seven minutes eight minutes five minutes doing the same operation and the same process okay so either we can have the cycle time or the time between arrivals so once you're done you have to save them in this text file then in the input analyzer after click on the new file we uh, and a new uh, file yes we have to click on this file menu after that go down to data file then use existing at the desktop we saved this tba or time between arrival uh, text file so we the type the files of type uh, we can select all files so we have this time between arrival uh, text file so we can open it so here we have like initial statistics or initial data analytics for those numbers so it says that we have 30 points the maximum and the minimum points are 0 and 8 this is the mean the standard deviation and this is the has to gram or the has to range of those data so to know the perfect distribution fit of those data what we have to do is just click on this icon this uh, option uh, it says that fit all so we have a specific distributions here like beta uh, exponential poisson normal whatever the distribution we want but here if we click on this one it will give us the perfect distribution fit of this data depend on what depend on the least square error here it's like a statistics point of view uh, from the statistics point of view these numbers are perfectly fit this type of distribution so what we have to do is just copy this expression and put it in the generate or the process cycle time and arena as i as i showed you in the uh, previous slides so we just copy this one which is representing the enter arrival times or the time between arrivals or the process cycle time or service time of any process so we can just copy this one and paste it in arena and in interface block uh, or the blocks in arena interface so that's it okay it's very simple all what we have to know is just is just this expression okay once we copy we copied this expression and paste it in the uh, arena block everything will uh, run perfectly okay based on perfect distribution fit and this is considered uh, the most accurate data uh, analytics or data analysis okay also as i told you as i told you before we can know like the exponential distribution fit but if we click on this exponential distribution fit the square error will be higher value than this one here let's uh, try so this is like uh, 0 0.016.13 so this one will be larger value okay this is why when we click on fit all it will give us the least square error and this is considered at the perfect distribution fit of this uh, or these data okay and again as i told you these data could be representing the enter arrival times the time between arrivals or the process cycle or service time okay and we can have some we can have some like fit all summary here and this is like for different distributions it gives us the least square or the square error of all types of distributions here so this is like manipulation of data or uh, the summary of data okay so i don't think we have uh, more functions for this input analyzer software than ju just generating the perfect distribution fit okay and that's it for this uh, small add-ins application with Arena Rockwell. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to download and install Arena Rockwell. And this is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel. And see you next videos. Thank you.